Good morning, gentlemen. So we have done solving equations by back try. Uh, sorry, by inspection. We are talking about flow charts today. We'll talk about operations and then the inverse operation of that, and we'll do some backtracking as well to find a missing number. So it'll all make sense once we do these questions. So this is a flow chart. Why is that a flow chart? What's happening in here? It's the, like, it's flowing through. Yep, it's flowing through from one direction to the other. Can you see the direction? Mm -hmm. Yes, and are there some sets of instructions that you have to follow to get from the starting number to the end number? Yep. Yes. yes, okay. So what's my starting number here? Three. What am I instructed to do to it? Times by 7. So 3 times 7 is? 21. What's the next step that I have to follow? Take away? 9. What's 21 take away 9? 12. And then what's 12 divided by 2? 6. So we got 6 from the input number 3 by following a set of instructions. Make sense? Easy? So these, these will be the easy questions. We'll give you a flow chart with some numbers and instructions and you'll have to find the final result. Any questions about that? You can do that later. Thank you. Next one. Now, the number that is given is not the first number. It's the middle number. And we've given the instructions in the other order. So we'll have to think that to go from this number to 9, I have to add 2. So what's what should I do to 9 to get this number? Subtract. Yep. Isn't that inverse of adding 2? Yep. So what's the opposite of adding 2? Take away. So basically, if you have instructions in one direction, to get the instructions in the opposite direction, you do the opposite of that operation. So if we had to go from 6 to 12, so what's opposite of dividing by 2? And is that correct? 6 times 2 is 12? So what's the inverse of taking away 9? 12 plus 9 is 21. And then what's the inverse of uh, times thing by 7? by 7. So now we know how to get the instruction in the opposite direction? Yes, okay. Now, so from 9 to go in this direction, we have to take away 2. So what's 9 take away 2? 7. 7. Eyes on the board, please. Now, so from 9 to here, what is the operation in this direction? 9 take away 5? 4. Simple? Okay, now next one. We've been given some instructions and some are missing. Let's first write all the instructions. So if it's plus 2 in this direction, what would be the opposite of it? Happy with that? What's the inverse of times by 5? What's the opposite of negative 3? Of at taking away 3? Right? Okay, now to go from 23 to here, what's the operation? Take away 3. 23 take away 3 is? 20. From 20 to here, what's the operation? What's 20 divided by 5? 4. And then does that make sense? 4 plus 2 is 6. Happy? Okay, now the last question. We now have to draw flow chart to find the mystery number and then use backtracking. Backtracking is going the opposite way. Okay? So let's first construct a flow chart. A mystery number is divided by 2. So I'm going to write that number that this is our mystery number. We don't know what it is. Can I use a pronoun room? Yes. yes. Which pronoun room do you want me to use? T. X. X or T. Let's say T. Because sometimes people think we can only use X. All right. It's divided by 2. So can I write divided by 2? Yes. Yes. And then has 11 added to it. Is that right? Pens down. And what's the final result? 18. So mystery number is divided by 2, has 11 added to it to get a final result of 18. We have to find this mystery number. Is that the correct flow chart? Yep. Yes. Okay, now I need to backtrack. That means go in the opposite direction and find my original number. So I've got the final result and I know the operations that were done to get the final result. So I'm going to undo those operations to the opposite of them and backtrack to get my mystery number. Make sense? Yeah. All right, so what's the opposite of plus 11? Minus. So what's 18 take away 11? Seven. 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 
And what's the opposite of dividing by 2? So what should t be equal to? 14. Does that make sense? So t equals 14. Any questions? Is this making sense? Yes. So do we know how to complete a flow chart? Yes. So if an operation is given in one direction, how do we find the operation in the opposite direction? Yes. Opposite of it. And then we can use that backtracking to find any missing number in the flow chart. Any questions? Perfect. Get on with your work.